Good evening everybody, Simon here, Explosive Action, doing a mid, actually it's late isn't it, late November, DVD and Blu-ray update. I have uh, some uh, recent DVD purchases on the left, some recent Blu-ray purchases in the middle, and on the right um, there is a really cool sale happening at Madman and Eastern Eye online at the moment, and um, I'll get to that last, but... Um, Definitely worth go having a look at uh, Madman Comma U and check out their massive sale that they're doing if you're into their stuff. But I'll get started here on the left. New DVDs, Night Skies, based on a true story apparently. Not too bad. I watched it already. Um, alien abduction kind of thing uh, with uh, some annoying teens going camping, run into. Uh, some trouble, crazy guy, camper at the same time, do they wonder if it's him doing these problems, and blah blah blah, and uh, it's all fairly humdrum, except for the last 20 minutes, which turns into um, fire in the sky, um, if you've seen that movie, and you know how that movie ends, then that's how this ends as well, similar kind of thing, and that was pretty cool, I paid six bucks for this brand new, so... I think I got that value. This was also really cool. Uh, War Pigs, the new Dolph Lundgren, Luke Goss, Chris Little, and Mickey Rourke. Quite a uh, quite a uh, good film, good cast. Um, it was like a like a, a low mid budget World War Two film. Um, and uh, if you've seen. The original Inglorious Bastards, and if you've seen Sirio Santiago's version of The Expendables, that's this kind of film, where Luke Goss is, uh, what is he, lieutenant, I think, um, is given command of troops called the War Pigs, send them on a special mission, they're a bunch of rough, tough type guys that don't take orders and all that kind of stuff, he's got to shape them up and send them on a deadly mission. And uh, you've seen the plot a thousand times, but uh, I thought this was really enjoyable. Uh, well shot, good violence. Dolph is fun. He puts on a French accent, so he's got this French-Swedish accent. Um, and uh, he smokes a pipe, which was worth the price of entry. Dolph smoking a pipe. So, uh, yeah, new release, War Pigs, and I really enjoyed it. So, check it out. Haven't watched this yet. Pick this up cheap in a trade. Umbrella release, early early umbrella release of Shallow Grave from the director of Train Spotting. It's one of those ones I wanted to check out for years. No idea what it's like. <laughs> As is this. I got this for a fiver. I was happy with that price. King Kong Escapes. Uh, <laughs> Japan uh, takes on King Kong in uh, Godzilla fashion with a Mecha King Kong. It looks brilliant. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's just, it's going to be brilliant, I know it is. Ooh, now how lucky was I to get this. Rawhead Rex, I know a lot of the Americans watching this will go, holy shit, how did you afford that? Um, routinely going for two to three hundred dollars this DVD now. 1999 DVD, put out by Artisan and Pioneer. Pioneer, remember when they actually did stuff? Instead of just bloody car stereos, Pioneer, they used to do good things. This was on eBay. Australia. I was just checking out the horror auctions. It was um, listed as uh, 99 cents or something. Um, and no one had bid, so I sent the seller a message saying, would you consider a buy it now price? I suggested one. And it was not $200. It wasn't $300. It was uh, in the double figures, and he agreed, and I paid, and it arrived. Mint condition, no scratches, raw head wrecks, R1 DVD. Fun film, utterly trash, but I enjoy it. And now I've got uh, the original R1 to go with my uh, uh, German hardbox edition. That's a bit grey market, but this is legit, so very happy. Ah, uh, this was this was enjoyable. I think it's been getting a bit of bad press, but uh, Harbinger Down, uh, starring Lance Hen Henriksen, and for once I can actually say starring Lance Hen Henriksen and mean it. He was in every scene of this film. Um, basically, it's the 
the guys that did the effects for uh, the remake of um, the remake of the thing not the 80s remake but the whatever it was 2012 remake um, did it all practical effects and sometime during post it was decided to redo it as CG they still wanted to use their effects so we basically remade their own film and it's sort of a cross between the thing and virus if you've seen that one with um oh I can't even remember the people who are in that one no nah, names have forgotten me pictures in my head can't remember names um but uh I enjoyed yeah the original thing obviously uh, the 80s thing and I really enjoyed virus so I enjoyed harbinger down derivative you've seen those films you've seen this good effects it's very B movie um I have no idea if this went to cinemas in America or not, but it's incredibly B movie. It's not sci-fi channel B movie. That's like Z movie. It's just what you used to get B movie, like um, Roger Corman kind of stuff. You know, the when the monster makes its reveal, it's like a big tentacled thing, then it's real tentacles. So I enjoyed it. Not it, you know, if it's M, so it's not blood and gore, which is a shame. If it was M A, it would have been like you know Forbidden World or something. It would have been hilarious, but I still enjoyed it. Harbinger down. Okay, on to the Blu-rays. Woohoo! So happy to have this. Deadly Prey. Finally, a legit digital release. And as many of you already know, I'll let you zoom in on the warning here. Deadly Prey presented using the best available elements provided by Slasher Video. That's who put this out. Not sourced from a HD master. Remastered from a PAL beta SP and upconverted to Blu-ray. Um, which is incredibly accurate and zoom in again come on focus yeah there she goes um incredibly accurate i watched it it looks nearly identical to my vhs uh it's four by three pretty washed out not much resolution it's more stable because it is from the master tape but it is clearly the master tape that spawned all the vhs around the world um so that is i went in there knowing that but I mean, it's still a little annoying that you could they couldn't find the the film elements but it is what it is we finally have deadly prey in digital format it's still a great film the uh the sound is still muddy uh the picture is still soft and washed out it is still fun and um every fan of action films should own that blu-ray honestly though now that i've seen it there's a dvd edition it's cheaper you might just get that i don't think you're gonna notice the difference which is not to be said for Deadliest Prey. This is the sequel made a few years ago. Um, and it was shot in HD, so it is 1080p, and it does look it. Um, an upgrade for me. I bought um, David Pryor. Rest in peace, poor David. Uh, I brought his um, self-released DVD of the film as soon as it came out a couple of years ago. Um, and uh, I haven't checked out this transfer, but, uh, you know, it's, it'll be... An improvement over the DVD. DVD looked great for a shot on digital film. Um, and uh, yeah, so now it's on blue. That'll be fine. Two more. Shock em Dead. Also, not sourced from HD Elements. It is from a one inch tape. I think that is higher quality than um, BDSP. So it should look better than it has before, but don't expect miracles. Uh, Tracy Lords, trashy trashy little horror film that um, I have on uh, Magnet Pacific I think so that's uh, hopefully a nice upgrade and also the first time on digital killer workout also known as a Robicide, and unfortunately also not sourced from film elements it's from a PAL SP so I haven't checked it out yet but I imagine it's gonna look like my tape did but uh, not to worry killer workout uh, again, finally on legit uh, DVD and Blu-ray. There was a UK DVD, but I think that was a grey market. All of these were created with the approval of David Pryor. And um, I'm very happy to have Killer Workout on Slasher Video. Uh, the Skull UK release here. Peter Cushing, Patrick Wormack and Christopher Lee. What a lineup! classic uh, 70s, no 60s, 1963 uh, horror film 
from uh, was it Amicus? Yes, it's Amicus. Um, who were the only studio taking on Hammer that did anything well? And the skull uh, I watched on a crappy old oh, one of those you know fifty horror movie sets, I think it was. And now it has a nice new Blu-ray, courtesy of Eureka. So I will enjoy jumping into that. Uh, Cheapy from JB doing a 2 for 20 sale. Uh, the Berlin File. This looks pretty cool. Um, what is it in? It's a Korean film. Knockout action. A legal arms deal. Yada yada. Had good write up. So uh, Berlin File. And the other part of that I picked up was The Drop. Um, also had good write up. Tom Hardy. Numi Rapace and James Gandolfini, the bloke on the left. That's one of those things, I wish they would line names up with people. I think I have a copy of Rising Sun that says that um, Wesley Snipes is a white guy, you know, it's just, anyway, I wish they'd just get it right. Um, anywho, the drop looks pretty cool too. Um, and yeah, Tom Hardy's good, I like him, he's good in Mad Max, he was good in uh, Punisher Warzone. He's solid. Let's see how he does in this one. Drop. Also, new release, I Spit in Your Grave 3, Vengeance is Mine. Check out this. Graphic violence, high impact sexual violence, and sexualized violence, sex and nudity. R-rated? Yeah, you're not fucking kidding. Haven't checked it out yet, but I know a few people have watched it, a few of my friends, and said it was good. With a bit of a what-the-hell-happened ending. So we'll see how that goes. Third part in the remake series of that. Uh, the Voices, Ryan Reynolds. Um, I can't say I'm a great fan of Ryan Reynolds, but um, this cover intrigued me. I posted online and said, does anybody know anything about this? And everyone said, yeah, this is really good fun. Uh, think like a dark comedy version of um, the Mad Men remake, something like that. And you get the voices, so I'll check that out soon. High impact violence, blood and gore, that's always ticking the boxes. And I found it Cash Converters, um, the long out of print 13 Ghost Blu ray, local Blu ray out of print, don't know about other territories. Early disc, I think 2007, so right at the beginning of the Blu ray cycle. What I'm really wanting to get is the Ghosts on Mars Blu ray. Um, that is quite hard to find, I think, in any territory. And lastly, onto the Madman Eastern Eye Pile. I don't know much about any of these. I just bought them. Um, the Suspect is a Korean film. Born Identity Meets Taken. Korean spy thriller. Okay. Doomsday Book. Science fiction, of course. Korean film. Looks cool. Johnny Toe and Vengeance. I have been meaning to watch this one for a long time. And now I have managed to get it. Hong Kong. <laughs> I like this cover. It's just blatant. Quick! Motorbikes. They're quick. Let's call the film Quick. Put an explosion behind it. Bam! Fucking yeah. Quick. Korean film. Uh, the one I didn't have. Infernal Affairs 3. Good series. Booby alert, can't show you the back. The 33D Invader. You see what they did there? High impact sex scenes and sexual themes. Can't show you the back. Oh, wait, I'll give you a quick look. Wait. Yeah, and if you stop and pause that, you might find some boobies. Born to Fight from the creators of Ong Back, so I'm about to like it. Thai martial arts. Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance. Also been on my list for ages. I love Old Boy. And I have not seen Mr. or Mrs. Vengeance films. Um, I didn't get Mrs. They didn't have it. But I did pick up Mr. Vengeance. High level violence. High level entertainment, I'm sure. Tell me something. Don't know much about this one at all. Head cut off. That's always cool. South Korean. Lots of these Korean, aren't they? And lastly... The Takeshi Kitano set of A Violent Cop Boiling Port... Boiling, boiling Point and Sonatine. Gotta like uh, Takeshi Kitano. Um, I have Sonatine separate release. 
Uh, so long ago since I've seen it, so I don't really remember. But I'm sure all of these will be good, and I'm sure I'll get memories of Sonatine as I put it on. And it will remind me why I jumped into this set when I could get it for 10 bucks. These three films for a tenner, everything else in that pile is $5 each. That sale is still going on, so do check it out. I paid, oh yeah, that's free shipping, so $55 for this entire pile of Eastern Eye and Madman titles. Um, I bought only Eastern Eye because I only thought that was the set, these, the stuff they had for sale. Then I went back to their homepage and realized it was every damn category. Um, which is fine though, because it's mainly the Eastern Eye that I'm after. But uh, you can get a lot of the Adult Swim cartoons cheap. Get the Metalocalypse series, that kind of stuff. Anywho, enough promotion. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.